Hello! <laughs> YouTube, Tyrell here, and basically, um, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm a little excited because we're finally getting some sort of confirmation for Killzone Mercenary DLC for the PS Vita. Now, I know the last DLC news I did was for Black Ops Classified because I just wanted a little bit of hope. I had an open mind to at least maybe it would make the game a little, make it at least worth the fifty dollars. But come to find out, it wasn't worth fifty dollars at all. The game is like I think like twenty bucks now. It, don't don't even buy it. But um, basically with Black Ops Declassified, they just said they asked them about DLC. Like, oh, we don't have anything planned, but we'll let you know it, like when we know. Basically, that was their way of saying, we ain't got nothing planned, we ain't doing it, don't even ask about it anymore, they ain't do anything, so, fudge them, forget about it, but basically, um, the guy over at, I think it was like, PS Vita Lounge, I think, or whatever, some guy got an, uh, exclusive, like, kind of, sort of, kind of interview with the art director from Gorilla Games, um, Tom Jones, and... He asked him about, you know, what's up with that Kills on Mercenary DLC. And I know that um, they've been busy because of Kills on Shadowfall that came out on PS4. Well, yeah, Sony News, PS4 broke a million. They sold a million units. The PS4. That is the best selling console of all time in 24 hours. That is really, really good. Because I think like a PS2 and Xbox, they had like 500,000. Uh, yeah, 500,000. And I was like, God damn, a million in 24 hours? Thumbs up to Sony. You guys did a good job. Good promotion. I just wish you would promote the Vita like you did the PS4. But... I don't know, man. Who knows? But basically, um, yeah, they had their hands full. I didn't expect them to say anything as soon as they would. But basically, as soon as Killzone Shadow Falls out there or whatever, they, they, that's been out for like a couple days or a week. And I don't know when this interview happened, but I don't know. This is just when I heard about it. So um, it was recent, and he basically said, what's up with that Killzone Mercenary DLC? And he said he couldn't speak directly on it or something like that. This could be an art director or whatever. Um... And basically, he just said, watch this space. Those were his words. Watch this space. He didn't say, um, we don't have anything planned. <laughs> we'll let you know when we do. He didn't say anything like that. He just said, watch this space. And in case you don't know what that is, that is code that these developers use to basically tease the fans of it. Like, tease them a little bit to, you know, so where they can get amped up a little bit because... Watch this space. It's just I don't know what that means to say the truth. I can't make all these assumptions of what it is. Basically, what it is for me is confirmation that they're at least working on it or at least have something planned for it. They're not gonna charge us ten extra dollars and then not put out any DLC. That's a stab at uh, like I've declassified, but um, this is just I don't know, man. I'm just very excited. Like I know they're gonna put in maps, but if they could, uh, they had gun DLC planned because when you pre-order the game, you get a uh, light machine gun with your pre-order. So that was a gun DLC right there. So would they do that with future DLC? I have no idea because I would love to see an extra assault rifle. There's only three as of right now. I would love to see an extra assault rifle, maybe another LMG because there's only one plus that DLC when not a lot of people pre-order the game so they don't get it. Um, there's enough snipers. Um, shotgun could be nice. Um, even some secondaries. I would love to see some secondaries. I'm sick of the same old pistol. Just give us something different, you know? And another Vanguard. You know, more of those. That would be great. And some more game modes. I'm sick of the same three old game modes. I just wish that... I don't know. I just hope they'll just make it the best that they can. Because I, I just know they will. Gorilla Games, they did a good job with Kills on Shadowfall. I haven't even played it yet. People were saying it doesn't look that good because of the shared system. It still looks good to me. I just imagine what it looks like in front of my face. But, um, thanks a lot for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are excited as I am about this DLC news for Kills on Mercenary. Finally, the Vita's getting some love. It took a while, but it's gonna happen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look out for my Injustice review and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom review. That's it. Tyrogue is out.